Hello, hello everyone. I am Mr. Devendra Sutar, Assistant Professor in ETC Department, Go College of Engineering. Welcome you all for my talk titled Token Passing Local Area Network. In our workshop uh, at the start, uh, origin of internet and how transfer of data happens was very nicely discussed by eminent professors. So I thought of choosing this topic as it will be an extension to those topics which were already discussed in the workshop where all our basics on internet were nightly discussed by those professors. Okay, uh, uh, This topic uh, is called as token ring local area network. Basically, uh, we are discussing how data transfer happens in a local area network using token ring uh, method of uh, sending data. Now what is happening over here is we have, we, I'll take a simple case in which there are only uh, four stations, station A, station B, uh, station C and station D. Okay. Uh, the first thing what we have to know is that in token ring local area network or token pass, uh, all the stations are connected in the form of a ring uh, through point to point links. Now if you see just A is connected to B b is connected to c and c is connected to d and d is connected to a in the form of ring okay and they are connected to point to point networks it simply means that a is directly connected to b and uh, a is directly connected to d whereas b is directly connected to a and b is directly connected to c whereas and c is uh, connected to d and d is connected to a now what we have to know over here is that the ring or the transfer of data uh, is unidirectional so it is happening only in one direction it will happen only in this direction which I am showing through uh, the cursor okay now second thing now what happens is that it is like we have four computers A, B, C and D and uh, they want to send a data it is like at the start nobody wants to send a data now we assume that a station A or computer A wants to send a data. So what happens is that uh, one to something called as token or a frame is passed uh, is kept on circulating in this ring. So it will keep on circulating. And if a station wants to send a data, it has to first take the token, keep the token with itself. Okay. So only the station that has the token is allowed to send a data. So what will happen is in this case is that no two stations can send a data simultaneously and hence there will be no collision and no data no loss of data will happen. So here a token is circulated among the stations and if a station wants to send a data to any other station the first thing is what it has to do is that it has to first capture the token which is being circulated in sequence okay after it has uh, taken the token then only it has right uh, to uh, send uh, the data okay uh, so we'll just take an example we assume that um, uh, we assume that station a wants to send data to station d so uh, one token will be so uh, token is nothing but a frame which will decide who can send the data in simple words so first a token we'll just assume that a token is at b b doesn't want to send a data so it will send the token back to c c also doesn't want to send a data so it will send a token back to d uh, d also doesn't want to send a data so it will send the token back to uh, station a now this station a wants to send a data so the first thing what it does is that it will first keep the token with itself it will keep that frame inside and then it will send the data okay it wants to send the data to uh, station d so what it will do is that see uh, always a data is sent in form of packets uh, in local area network so it will send a packet that packet will have what now it will have data okay also with the data it will also have some header information okay now header information will include who is sending the data or the source address and also it will include where it has to go so it will uh, basically a frame will have or a packet will have destination address source address and actual data so since the uh, ring is unidirectional again uh, this frame will move to b since it is the first station and the ring is unidirectional 
so uh, this station b will check uh, the frame it will find that uh, the destination address is not matching with the address of uh, of b so it will come to know that it is this frame was not indented for b so what it will do is that it will simply regenerate the signal or the frame and it will send to uh, station c since it is next in the uh, in the ring uh, again uh, this station c will check the destination address and it will again come to know that it was not also meant for c so again it will uh, send the frame uh, to d to the next station now when this station uh, will check uh, the frame it will find that uh, the destination address is matching with the address of the station so what it will do is that it will keep the frame it will copy the frame uh, over here uh, but the one thing uh, that you should know over here is that station D uh, does not have right to uh, uh, destroy the frame. Now, since uh, this is a ring, somewhere the frame has to go. Okay. Now, station D will only copy the frame since it is meant for it. Okay. And it will send the frame back to station A since it is the next thing. What will happen over here uh, is that the station A will find will come to know after reading the source address that it was uh, generated by itself, and only the station who generated the frame has the right to destroy the frame. So station A will destroy the frame. Okay, it was meant for station D, so it will be copied by station D, but it it has to be destroyed uh, by station a or in other words it has to be uh, removed from the link from the station who generated it okay after this fellow uh, removes the frame uh, after this station removes the frame from the ring what will happen is that it will send a, a token it will release the token since uh, b is in uh, next uh, order the token will be received by b if it has to send the data to any other station what has to what b has to do yes the station has to actually capture the token and send a frame but if a station b doesn't want to send a frame so it can simply send a token to other station so this is how it works so i just wanted to ask you one question can you discuss to how many different modes a station can work as from our previous discussions so we had four stations one was uh, station a okay one was station b one was station c and one was station d now how many uh, different ways these stations are acting okay now what you have to remember over here is that there was one station that was generating the frame that is called as station a there was one frame that was actually taking the data or keeping the data that is called as station d okay and there were two stations that were not actually copying the uh, data or the frame it was simply regenerating that was uh, that were station b and c so if you have understood this properly the answer to this question will be a station a particular station can act in three modes that is the repeater mode that is the insert mode and that is the uh, copy mode now if you analyze okay now can you tell me which uh, station was acting in insert mode okay the answer uh, the, uh, the answer to this uh, question the answer to this uh, to the question is uh, station a was acting in insert mode okay since it was generating uh, it, it wanted to send a frame so what it was doing is that it was uh, yeah, so this is the input for the station and this is the output for the station so first it took uh, the token so it uh, it took the token and kept it inside and then it had to send the data through the output uh, line which is over here station b and station c were acting as in repeater mode so what they were doing is that they were not uh, copying the data see the data is not coming in so this is the station over here so data is not coming in the station it was simply regenerated and it was uh, sent okay and finally station d that we discussed is acting in a copy mode whereas uh, so if you can see over here so the whatever the frame is coming over here okay so uh, the frame is uh, uh, is being copied inside uh, the station okay 
and since it does not have any right to destroy the frame it is also sent to the next station and it was going to station a where the station a had to actually remove the frame from the link so in uh, simple words a station can act in repeater mode where it is only doing the regenerating function it can act in insert mode where it where it is actually sending the data the station that is sending the data is acting in insert mode and the station that is actually copying the data is called as copy mode now this is a diagram uh, wherein it is uh, briefly showing you all how it happens station a now this is a ring and again four stations are there it is same repetition of what i have thought station a wants to send the data so first before send uh, if it has to send the data so it has to take this is a token which i was discussing so it has to first take the token okay after it takes the token it will keep the token in the in within itself and it will send a frame it is nicely mentioned over here uh, a frame is going actually it is intended for station c so what happens is that it will go to b b will say that yes uh, it is not meant for him and it will simply regenerate and it will send the station um, the frame to station c now since it is intended for station c uh, because it found out that it will find that the destination address is matching uh, with that station so it will copy the frame and also it will send the frame to the next station because it cannot remove the frame from the link so it will uh, send the frame to the next station okay that fellow uh, that station also will understand that it is not meant for him and then finally it will um, send the uh, the frame back to station a okay where the station a will understand that baba yes uh, yeah, is that uh, uh, itself uh, the station a only had generated the frame and it has to remove the frame so after the station a uh, takes uh, destroys the frame and removes it from the link it will send back the uh, token that it had kept so that other station also get an equal opportunity okay so if you have understood this can you identify any flaw in the system okay a flaw meaning now what is what question is asked it is just asking you if there is any uh, flaw in the system it, see it can happen that a station can keep the token with itself only and uh, not re return it only and then what will happen is that only that particular station will have a right to send and no other station will get opportunity to send also okay now to avoid that problem what they have done is that uh, uh, a fair uh, to give a fair opportunity to every station a station can hold a token for a maximum predefined period called as token holding time in simple words okay a token can uh, a station can hold a token only for a fixed time the approximate value for this is around 10 milliseconds okay after 10 milliseconds it has to send the uh, token back to the other station so that everybody can send the data if it is wanting okay now uh, can again uh, can you find the flaw in the system one more uh, flaw in the system now if you can if you see the basic diagram over here it is like all the stations are connected in the form of ring what can happen is that if one station fails if suppose say b st station b is not working what can happen is that the en uh, entire network can be down and there will be no transfer of data in uh, in between uh, any of these stations okay so to uh, to prevent this what they have done is that they uh, they came up with a solution called as relay interface unit okay or it is also called as bypass relay what they have done is that they have connected uh, a, a bypass relay across all the stations so if we have a station just across uh, on the station they connect a uh, ring interface unit or a bypass relay so if you can if you see from this um, diagram that see this is the uh, this, this is where the this is where the station is to it is written to network card of the end station okay and uh, a relay is connected across uh, the station so if a station doesn't want the data it will simply send the data directly to the other station without taking the data in okay and if the station Uh, finds that uh, the destination uh, address is matching with itself so it will switch on this uh, con contactors okay and it will actually take the data inside uh, the station okay so uh, hopefully you have understood my lecture uh, uh,
थैंक यू वेरी मच